Legends, I hope you're all awesome. We're on the Eventide H90 today, and I want to show you some of my favorite effect algorithms in here. These are algorithms that I either find incredibly inspiring on their own, incredibly useful, or I've got a sentimental attachment to them because I recorded with them on the H9 or one of the factor pedals. To get started, I've got my 77 Fender Strat. Going into my Axe FX3, I'm just using the Axe for amp and cab sounds. I've got the H90 connected in a loop. It is currently bypassed, and this is my clean sound on the neck pickup. The first algorithm that I want to show you is called Harpeggiator. It is a sequenced pitch shifter. If you've heard my intro music, that is from a ragdoll song called Playing God. In the middle eight of that song and at the ending, I actually used this preset on the H9 just to give it some movement and you know, some kind of synthy goodness on there. Uh, essentially, you play single notes into it and it creates a pitch sequence that it moves through. And then you can apply effects to that. You've got a left sequence and a right sequence. You can set them independently, set the effects independently. You've got some dynamics control and some different rhythms in there. There's so many different sounds in here. It's kind of like having a little semi-modular synth that you can control with your guitar. But this is the preset that I really like. <laughs> It's pretty straightforward arpeggiator. We can apply some effects so that you've got filters, fuzzes, and glitches in here. I'll go with fuzz one, and maybe we'll go with filter three. You know, they're both on sequence number eight. I'll show you a few different sequences, but this is what we get there. <laughs> You know, I can chop these up using different rhythms and I can try some different sequences. Let's set this one to sequence number one and just have a listen to what sequence one gives us. I can uh, kind of set the balance between the two arpeggios as well. Maybe let's add all effects over here for effects B as well. What do we get? <laughs> While there are lots of options, I just kind of tend to stick to that one preset that I know and love, mostly because I used it on that song and we still play that song live and lots of people say that it's their favorite ragdoll song. So I use Harpeggiator for that. I dig it. Next up is a new algorithm for the H90. It is the even vibe. People were asking for years about adding a uni vibe to the H9. It never got done, but it's been incorporated into the H90. And, you know, I just kind of love this for your Robin Trower style uni vibe. What I think is cool about it is there is uh, some soft clipping that you can add and there's a width control in here. So you can make it stereo. Let's just hear it with a width at zero, then I'll take it up to 100. <laughs> That's a classic effect and they've done a really good job at not only emulating a classic uni vibe, but kind of taking it that next little step in a digital environment. Next up is an algorithm called Pitch Fuzz, which gives you three different pitch voices that you can blend in. You can delay them. There's fuzz, there's feedback, there's a gate. There's all kinds of stuff in there, but I really like it. Kind of like the Harpeggiator, I found one preset I really like the sound of. So this one is using an octave down then a fifth up, 
then a ninth above the octave on there. So uh, this one over here, I'm going to set to a perfect twelfth. I've got it blended in. I can play with the fuzz and the fuzz tone and whether there's some delay at all. I don't think there's any delay at the moment, but this one sounds incredibly filthy. It's kind of like a cross between uh, like an electroharmonics fuzz and an electroharmonics pog. It really gives me that funky EHX vibe either way. <laughs> on there it's pretty wild as well but I think I like it as just a kind of pitch plus fuzz style effect on there adds so much girth to even a clean tone on there next classic even tight effect this one is called black hole if you're familiar with even tight effects you know all about this one this is just one of the factory presets that I've modified if you like big ambient reverbs if you like post rock black hole is the absolute ticket sounds like this <laughs> black hole preset is amazing as well. <laughs> some chorus in here. I am really torn here. I love the Triceracorus algorithm. I've made some presets for it which have ended up as factory presets. But at the moment, the regular chorus block set to the shimmer type is really kind of tickling me pink, especially for like an 80s style lush clean sound. I actually did a Rockman inspired patch a week or two ago using this particular mode. I think it's really the flick of a coin between this and Triceracorus, so I will let you hear both. Let's just say it's a tie in the chorusing division. Check this out. <laughs> Thank you. 
great thing about the H90 is you don't really have to choose. You've got both amazing options in there. Next up, another new algorithm. This one is called Bouquet Delay. It is based on old Bucket Brigade delays. There's a modern mode and a lo-fi mode. What's cool about this as well is you can set it up, just kind of do your standard mono Bucket Brigade delay stuff, but you can also create a stereo tap on there. So for example, you can turn the stereo tap off and you've got a really lovely sounding uh, kind of lo-fi delay, even without the lo-fi mode on, it sounds like this. stereo tap and now it's going to give you a super wide sounding delay on there with different delay times on each channel. It's great if you like playing with distortion using this as a lead tone. I'll just turn the mix down a little bit. You could hear on there as well that there's some really lovely musically voiced modulation on there as well. I'll show you another trick in just a second where you can set up the modulation with a square wave and do totally glitchy stuff as well. But for now, here is the stereo tap. I love this as a dual delay. <laughs> another new algorithm but this one is based on the old Eventide SP 2016 reverb unit. I really really like this one as just a kind of basic reverb on dirty guitars. There are six main modes on here. You've got a room, a stereo room and a plate with a modern and vintage version of each of those. Uh, the modern stereo room and the vintage plate are probably my favorite. I'll just let you hear them in here uh, with these settings that I've got going on. Plenty of fill. <laughs> as exciting as some of the other algorithms that we've heard, but I just really appreciate the attention to detail there, the overall quality, and there's this position control in here which can kind of place you forward or backwards in a virtual room, which is pretty unique 
I think, anyway. Alrighty, next up, we're gonna hear uh, arguably the most classic Eventide algorithm. I'll put a little asterisk next to that one. I think for a lot of people, when they think of the H9, or they think of the H90s, so they probably think of this particular effect, the crystallizer in here. This is just the stock uh, classic crystals preset. I'll go to a clean sound. If you've never heard this one before, make sure you're listening in stereo. It is pretty glorious. <laughs> sounds like this. Next up, if crystals is not the classic eventide effect, then it is micro pitch shift on here. And you've got the standalone micro pitch shift algorithm, and then you've got an even type H910 949 recreation, which sounds really, really good. It's kind of a little crustier and glitchier, but if you just like big, smooth detunes on here, uh, this is the place to go. I've got 13 cents up, 11 cents down. This is just an incredible kind of stereo widening. You know, it adds girth to your sound, it adds stereo spread it just makes everything greasier and more glorious i'll let you hear it without and then with it <laughs> fun thing that you can do with this is to add some delay in there. So I've got nine cents of detune either side and then some very slight offsets around 400 milliseconds of delay on there. This is kind of the old Michael Thompson delay trick. Sounds massive. Let's check it out. <laughs> pitch tone is you can just add it to any of the other algorithms that we have heard in the H90 and it immediately makes them better. I'll give you some examples at the end, but uh, let's hear a slightly different micro pitch tone with a dual duct delay. <laughs> Next is another pair of algorithms that I couldn't split, the vintage delay and the mod delay. When I had an H9, I used the mod delay for my main lead dual delay, but I also love the kind of 12-bit mode on the vintage delay. You can actually set the number of bits over here with the bits parameter. One thing that I really like about the vintage delay is the way the modulation is voiced. So if you set A and B, to an equal mix on the delay, so both delays mixed in evenly, and you set them to the same time or rhythmic value and feedback, then when you add the modulation, it gives you this kind of stereo spread where the left and right channel are out of phase. So if I just let you hear a single... <laughs> 
kind of cool, but as you can hear, there's no big stereo spread. When I bring that other delay in, check this out. <laughs> It's got just the right amount of filtering and kind of overall crust on there on the vintage delay. The mod delay actually sounds pretty similar. You do have these different mod shapes that you can choose from. So you've got uh, peak, triangle, sine, and then you've got A sine, so the delay A being a sine wave and then delay B being 180 degrees out of phase with it. Uh, similar kind of thing, I'll let you hear it. <laughs> I really like this as a dual delay with a quarter note on one side and a dotted eighth note on the other side, kind of doing a similar thing to the bouquet delay as well. <laughs> Finally, what may be the most unique algorithm, in my opinion, when it comes to even tired modulation effects, it is the undulator. I used this effect on heaps of tracks on the Ragdoll Back to Zero album when I had an H9 for just kind of general ambience. It's sort of like a cross between a tremolo and a feedback delay. I know in the even tired Eclipse, they use like an eight plex into a trem. So it's kind of like a reverb feedback network with tremolo. I don't know, it sounds incredible and it just kind of takes your chord tone, chops it up and smears it over the stereo spectrum. I love this effect so much. Does this. <laughs> Of course, we can take all these algorithms in the H90 and combine them. You can wrap them in series, in parallel, you can place inserts between them, you can place one before your amp and one in the amp's effects loop. Uh, so many options in here. These algorithms on their own, I think, sound so fantastic. That's why I like them. But then combining them together is where the party really is at. So I'll give you a few examples of some combinations. Now I'll just play you out with all of them. You will recognize some of the sounds from earlier in the video. Thanks so much for checking out the video. Let me know your favorite H90 algos in here, or if there's algorithms that don't exist that you would like to see added. For example, there's no standalone panning delay in here, which I think there really should be. You can create one, but you've got to sacrifice two slots for it. I've done a video about that one as well. I've also got standalone videos with all the new algorithms if you want to check them out, as well as some tips and tricks. If you like what I'm doing here on the channel, hit the like and subscribe button. You can sign up to my Patreon or grab some of my music if you check the video description. Thanks for watching, and here are some more effect combination examples that I really like the sound of. Cheers. <laughs>